Why do some Muslims abstain from sins only during the month of Ramadan? Um, you know, whilst they're fasting. And after the month of Ramadan, in the other 11 months, we see them lying, cheating, stealing, and men doing many of the other terrible sins, unfortunately. May Allah protect us from those sins. I mean, why is it so? Why do those people, what possesses these people to do those acts during the 11 months and not this one month? The reason is the same as I mentioned earlier, that we should know the objective of fasting. If you know the objective of fasting, inshallah, even after Ramadan is over, the person will yet be on the straight path. As I mentioned in my example, that you should know the method of the act and the objective. So people may know the method, how to eat food. They make a morsel of the food, put it in the mouth, masticate it, chew it, and put it down the throat. So the act, the method they know very well. That's what they do in the month of Ramadan. But after that, if someone puts a finger in his throat and vomits out, so that food will not make him healthy. So that's what is happening. The main purpose, the objective, they don't know. Objective is to increase the taqwa, to make a person come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if that is there in the mind, so even after the month of fasting, if it's gone, yet the person will be on the straight path because they don't remember the objective, come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And once your sins are forgiven, if you repent truly, one of the criteria for repentance is that besides saying that what you have done is wrong, asking for forgiveness, stopping it, also saying that you will not do it again. So if they ask for forgiveness in the right way, they will not go back to the old bad habits. So if they follow all these rules, inshallah, even after Ramadan goes away, they will be on the straight path for the full year, like how we have to pray five times that they will be on the straight path. Ramadan once a month is overhauling of the full body, the mind and the soul also. So once a year, is sufficient if you know how to do it correctly. Very good answer. And let's hope we can get much closer to Allah in this month, inshallah.